using the 3D printing filament out of my gimbal. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's Ollie from Flight Comp and I have a new Vertigo to fly. It's a Strong. I just finished building it. Uh, but this video is not really going to be about the airplane itself. Um, I figured I'd do a, a short video on how I go through my maiden flights. Obviously this will apply to any model or let's, let's say any F5J model. So it's brand new. Um, everything's ready to go. Obviously I've programmed it at home. Um, went through all the settings, but there's still some precautions that I take. Um, even though I think I know that it's programmed and ready to fly, I'm just going to double check everything before I actually fly it, just to make sure we have we have a um, a safe flight. So I got my radio turned on. I'm going to plug the battery in. Um, I've taken the prop and spinner off for safety, so I'm going to do something with the uh, the motor or throttle flight mode um, you can maybe unplug the motor or hit a, a kill switch or something if you have that programmed in but I think this is the safest way to go so that came off so I'm making sure I'm in my uh, cruise mode and we'll just plug the battery in Okay, so make sure you're on the right model in your radio. <laughs> I am not on the right model. So let me select Vertigo Strong. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure all the surfaces are going the right direction. So we'll start with the elevator back there. And we'll make sure when I pull up, it's going up, and down is down, and then we'll do the rudder. So we're going to go left rudder, and right rudder. That's why I'll go in the right direction. We'll go ailerons, we'll go left aileron. So this, this side should come up. And if we go uh, right aileron, this side should go up. Okay, so everything is going in the right direction, and I don't know if you want to maybe come around here, Brian, and uh, try to video the radio. I don't know if you can see the screen on it or not. Probably not, huh? Oh, here we go. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Sort of. I think a um, really important safety feature is to make sure that your sub trims are all zeroed in all your flight modes. Uh, this, you know, with the F5J planes and other bigger sail planes, you're going to have more than one flight mode. And uh, if you're starting from scratch on a program, it's not as big of a deal. But if you've copied an existing program and working off that, you can run into a situation where when you change flight modes, your trims are off by a lot. So. Um, my screen right here tells me all the trims are zero, but I'm just going to hit the various flight mode switches. Thermal 1. So we go to Thermal 1, and I do see zeros across the board. Thermal 2. Thermal 2, two zeros again. Cruise. Speed. Speed, still zeros. Cruise. We're going to go into the landing flight mode. Landing. Zeros. Cruise. And this is probably the, the most... Uh, dangerous um, flight mode if your trims are off and I think we experienced this once with the Infinity that I flew because when I throttled it up it had a bunch of down trim in the motor flight mode and I almost chucked it into the ground so that's why I took the prop off I'm gonna actually motor up and it'll enter the uh, the motor flight mode and I'm gonna look at my sub trims and see if they change okay they didn't change so they're all zeros so we shouldn't have any abrupt changes when we flip through the, the, the flight mode um, switches or when we launch it under power. So I know everything's working the right way. I've, C I've CG'd this at home. I know the CG is close to where I want it. Um, I tried to get the programming as close 
to all my other vertigos so it should be pretty spot on but we will go over a few things when we actually fly it um, just some basic things like flap compensation and trimming in all the flight modes so I'm gonna go ahead and put the prop back on I'll unplug the battery and then we'll walk out and we'll, uh, we'll fly it Right, before we uh, go actually fly the plane, um, I do set up a fail safe. So I have all of the surfaces, the moving surfaces, on just a hold. So they just hold the last position. But the motor I have set to zero throttle. So, um, for example, if I was to get a lockout under power, the motor would die. Um, I think that's just. Uh, uh, good for safety. Um, also, I don't know if it's possible, but if you're thermaling and you get a lockout, you don't want your motor to, to jam on or anything like that. So I did set up fail safes and I've double checked them. And now we'll we'll do a uh, range test. So I'll go into range mode and select range test. And then I'll just uh, walk away and see if it checks out. And I'll be wiggling the controls and uh, making sure things are working. Actually gonna get to the flying part of this um, I'm gonna turn it on radios on make sure throttles down we're in cruise mode I'll plug it in Can't be on. I'm just gonna um, feel all the surfaces and make sure they're solid and hooked up First flights, I like to just do a hand toss. Um, that you don't have to do that at all. You can use the motor. I like to give it a hand toss and just make sure it flies straight and level, and then uh, light the motor after that. Throw it into the wind, obviously. I'm not going to try to do anything too dumb. I'll let it fly. Okay, I'll go grab it and come back. Alright, well, it, it, it kind of flew away straight and level, so it didn't do anything erratic. I'm pretty confident that, you know, it's going to fly. And it, it kind of felt like all my other vertigos, so I think we're, we're in the ballpark as far as setup goes, but... Um, We'll do it again, but we're going to light the motor and get some altitude. And then we can play with some of the other uh, adjustments and settings. And tune it up a little bit. Just a basic tune-up, not in-depth. But okay, here we go, Brian. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to light the motor. I'll probably throw it, then light the motor. Okay, I'm just going to worry about the elevator trim now in cruise mode. It's a little breezy, but uh, it's okay. It's 
flying a little fast. We'll go a little up trim. Okay, now I'm gonna stick it in the first uh, thermal setting, which is uh, thermal one. Again, I'm just worrying about the elevator. Thermal one. Diving quite a bit. Get some up trim in. You're gonna wanna trim again, you know, if it's calmer conditions or wherever you go fly, but I'm just trying to get a basic setup going here. Too much up. Kind of stalling out. Okay, not too bad. And I'm gonna go into thermal two. Thermal two. Same thing. Couple clicks up. Turn it around into the wind. Put it in speed. Speed. And she's going down quite a bit. Obviously you want it to go fast and speed, but you don't want it pitching straight for the ground. Okay. Go back into cruise and I'm gonna focus on the ailerons and rudder, see if it needs any trimming on those surfaces. Again, it's, it's pretty windy, so not ideal conditions for trimming. A little bit of right rudder. Put it in thermal one. Same right rudder. Thermal two. Same right rudder. And go ahead and bring the flaps down slightly. Same right rudder. Speed. Same right rudder. And we'll need a few clicks of right rudder in the motor mode too, so let's go ahead and Motor going. Okay. The other ones felt pretty good. So I think we're close to being trim. Now we can just kind of fly it and see how it feels. CG honestly feels pretty good. I think the CG is where it needs to be. Next thing I'm going to do is check my uh, aileron to rudder mixing. So what I'm going to do is get a little bit of altitude. We use the motor. We put it in cruise mode. We'll park it. We'll turn around back into the wind. Now I'm going to rock the wings at a moderate speed back and forth and what I'm looking for here is to see if the nose wants to pitch out or, or tuck in as we rock the wing. mixing. Seemed fairly linear. I think the nose came out a little bit. A lot of guys have tried to fix that with uh, differential and the ailerons. I don't run differential. Uh, my theory is, not my theory, but other people's theories that I, that I subscribe to is that Running no differential allows you to run less uh, up travel overall and decreases drag on the wing. Okay. 
So yeah, I think when I land, I'll, I'll put a little more rudder mix, probably 5% more rudder mix in uh, all the flight modes. But I'm very happy with the way it's flying. No surprises, feels like a vertigo. Feels very familiar to me. Again, I'm very uh, familiar with this airframe, so um, all my settings are kind of already, have been already uh, dialed, so I just need to transfer them to a new model. Next thing I'm gonna focus on is the flap to elevator compensation. So again, we'll get some altitude and we'll uh, pull the flaps and see what it looks like. First thing I'm gonna go is 25% flaps, which is right there. Pretty good. Might need a few more clicks of nose down. I'm gonna go to half flap. Might have too much down. Three quarters flap. Probably a little too much down. Full flap. Definitely too much down. Some guys have really fancy setups and you think you know adjust the uh, flap to elevator mix on the fly while you're flying. I don't ever run setups like that, so I have to land to actually make the adjustments. But uh, I'll just go in and uh, see if I can dial it up real quick. Okay. I'm gonna go actually uh, lift up the plane so I don't jam the flaps against the ground. I say, Brian, 25%. Yeah, I need more down, right? It's okay, someone in the comments will correct you. <laughs> Probably, but still need to make sure it flies right. Alright, uh, so then we'll go to our next point, which is around half. I think I want to take some out of that. Three quarters. I did trim, I did put a little bit of uh, down elevator in the, the motor flight mode, so hopefully it won't pitch up under power again. Alright, so we'll go back up and we'll test the uh, flap compensation. Okay. 25%. Probably too much now. Half. Pretty good. Three quarters. Maybe a little too much. Pretty good. Full. Good. Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty close. So, right now I need to mess with the rudder mixing just a little bit. Um, I'll, I can do that later. Um, but we got a pretty good base right now, so I feel like I'm comfortable flying the airplane. It's not doing anything dumb. We've double and tri triple checked all the surfaces. Um, that's just basically a rundown of what I what I go through when I um, put a maiden flight on a new airplane. Um, from this point on, you can spend as many hours as you want fine-tuning 
your cambers and your, your reflex and, and whatever other uh, mixing you have in the airplane or even your CG. But uh, we got a safe maiden flight on it. I'm confident now it's a solid flying model. Um, and, and we've just buttoned up all the basics. So that's, that's what I go through on my maiden flights. I uh, hope you guys found the video informative in some way. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.